Yo, what's the crowd, boys? This whole MVP race is literally going to come down to the last day. Last day of the season. We've got, you know, a free-headed race. Before, it seemed like what? Like, it's just changing so much. Obviously, Jokic, Embiid, Giannis, this whole... It's, it's been like this for the past three years. The three best players, not really. You know what I mean? It's really hard to say, but obviously, it's the regular season award, you know, the way the MVP is. Only certain players can win it, you know. LeBron, like, if, like... If we're, if we're going off this best player, like, it should be Giannis. It should be Giannis since 2019, I guess. I guess, but, you know, not really. It's, MVP's a very, you know, weird award. Criteria, the criteria changes almost every year. Last season, you know, Jokic, sixth seed. Didn't have that much help. Okay, cool, now he's the first seed. It's like, nah, he's the first seed, he's an MVP. Like, it, it changes every year. But, you know, I'm fine with that. that, that that's kind of how it should be. You know, every season's different. You know, situations are different. Some star players have help, some don't. Some just have really good teams around them, but we're gonna get into, you know, who my opinions are. I think you already know. I think obviously, obviously I don't have a vote, I'm just a guy that, I'm just, I'm just a guy with a phone on a tree talking about basketball. So I, do you know what I mean? Not like I have, I don't have a vote. Obviously not, damn ass. But my vote is Embiid, because I'm a biased Sixers fan. I, I've been sick and tired of seeing Embiid. I think, I think when, you know, realistically, yeah, if he didn't get hurt in 2021, he would have won that one. But I think last season, yeah, I think maybe you give that to... Nah. Yeah. Mm. Mm. It's close. I was disappointed when MB didn't win it, but... Do you know what I mean? It's in a... Well, it's my channel. But you get what I mean. I wasn't exactly like, okay, I see how Jokic won last season. He had, like, a historically great season. So, like, yeah. But this season, bro, if Jokic win, I'm sorry. I, I'm going to sound like such a Jokic hater in this video. It's not Jokic himself, it's the media. But we got to get on these whole MVP candidates. My pick is Embiid. If I had to think of order, I would say Embiid, Giannis, and Jokic. Right now, that this kid, like, like, if it changes, I will be honest and say it's changed. Like, see, if you asked me two months ago, I'd be like, yeah, it's probably Jokic. A month ago, Jokic. Now it's like, okay, it's Embiid now. It's 100% Embiid now. You could give the argument to Giannis, but... I think he has a very good team on his, you know, his hands. Well, so do the Sixers, but we'll get into it. So Embiid, obviously leading the league in scoring, have one of the best efficient scoring seasons of all time. This guy, like, he is clutch on the offense and the defense. Like, Embiid's compilation of clutch plays would be abnormally long for a player this season. You know, maybe De'Aaron Fox is, you know, the only player that might have... Maybe not. Maybe Embiid actually has... He probably has... It would be abnormally long anyway, the compilation. It probably is a compilation out there. You probably have to just YouTube it. Or someone has to make one. Embiid's clutch compilation, you know, he'll go hit some mad fadeaway, mid, looking like James Harden, and go around and just block, you know, in the clutch play. Did that in the, in the Grizzlies game. Block Jam around, hit a nice shot. It's crazy. Obviously, he has the most go-ahead game winners and game winners this season. Leads the whole league in that. He's literally the most clutch player in the league. Despite not having you know, the most clutch points, which I think is a very valuable start. De'Aaron Fox is all the way up there, which he has to make an all-NBA team. Anyway, yeah, Embiid, literally one of the most clutch players. He's won us, probably won us so many games just from being clutch. Obviously, he's had 35-plus points in 23 games this season. Only, you know, centers to do that, they won MVP. Joel Embiid's just a tall Kobe, or, yeah, a tall Kobe. Or a tall Harden. He's literally just a big guard who can play defense. And he had the one of the most, you know, one, uh, hands down one of the most best individual games of all time early this season against the Jazz, like the 59 points. Every stat was just above six. One of the craziest games ever. Obviously, this is kind of more more biased take. Obviously, I am a Sixers fan. But I, it's Embiid. You watch him like, come on, bro. You can't let the media just deceive you like this. It's crazy. Jokic, no way he's the MVP, but we'll get into him why. Then you have Jokic, who obviously is one of the best players in the NBA. Don't go, get me wrong. One of the most aesthetically pleasing players to watch. Jokic's game is just so smooth. His jump shot, the way he, the way he just runs up and down the court and just makes like a pass. It's, it's so aesthetically pleasing. Him and Paul George is one of the most you know, smoothest players you could watch in this whole league. Obviously, best passer in the league. Let's, best passer in the league, hands down. I don't think anyone, well, people are close. But it's like, he's, he's unanimously the best passer in the NBA. One of the best playmakers, if not the best. He, he, this guy could probably take a bad team to the playoffs, which could, you know, that could, you know, even that could win an MVP right there. Nuggets team is very good this season. 
possibly even do to him. And yeah, that right there, Jokic makes his teammates better at MVP. But like I said, you know, defense has been brought, brought up this year for MVP. I can't remember the defense being brought up last time. It's just a different year after year. It's crazy. But obviously, Jokic has probably almost every advanced stat on this you know, side, which if you, know, if you watch basketball, you know advanced stats are not useless. But it, it it's kind of flawed. They are, it is a flawed start, start in my opinion. But obviously, it, you know, obviously Jokic's big flaw is just defense. He has the most kickball violations. I mean, that's the first time I've heard this start. You know, this, this, this was crazy about, you know, MVP conscious every year. Like, kickball violations. Jokic has, like, so much more. He's so lazy on defense because, you know, he's a big boy. Like, he's pretty fat. You know, can't even dunk. I don't think he can dunk. Come on, bro. That's, that's perfect, but does not play defense. You know, teams are targeting him. They lost to the Spurs because they were targeting him. Already, you can't be MVP if you're getting targeted on defense, bro. If you're getting targeted, that, like, most valuable player. What? Crazy. Absolutely crazy. Also, the MVP debate is so dumb, bro. The whole criteria of it, I, I don't hate it. It's very good debate. But it's just different stuff. It's like... Oh yeah, he plays defense. Okay, he does this. It's like, no, he does this better. But no, he does like, oh, it's crazy. Like you've already seen this video. So many takes of me like doing that. So like, it's just preference almost. I so I feel like what the media is doing, you know, if you know, pick Jokic. Yeah, you know, we want to see him win. Also, Jokic has been as clutch as Embiid or Giannis. That's why he's my third. And obviously, the media are just pushing. It. I think everyone's like everyone like the whole turnaround. People have been hating on Jokic recently. I think everyone's just sick of the media sucking his dick. Like, it's crazy. It's absolutely crazy, but who cares, really? But, yeah, I think people are finally trying to... They're seeing, you know... It's crazy he has two. He should not have two. Okay, he does have two because injuries and that. But if you're telling me Jokic wins three MVPs when Kobe and KD only have one, that's horrible. That's, that's disgraceful, I think. Jokic is not that guy. Jokic is not that kind of guy. He is very good, but, like, do you know what I mean? Three MVPs, no. No, like that's terrible if that happens. And then we have Giannis. Giannis is so great, we just overlook him. Like the MVP is probably Giannis, but I think his team is too good to give him it, even though it's like, you know, best player on best team, which I think is kind of, I think the MVP shouldn't be the best player on the best team because like a Tatum, Tatum can shoot 18% from the field and the Celtics will still win. Like, Tatum can be MVP. The Celtics are too good all around. You know, their bench line, you know, beats you know, normal starters. But I think we're so used to Giannis' greatness that it's just normalized. Oh, like, like like LeBron. LeBron should have more than four MVPs. Like, Giannis should have more than two by now. Or by the time Giannis retires, he should, he should have more than what he has. So maybe we're overthinking that and we should just give it to Giannis because he has been great this season. Obviously, he's just playing bully ball. You know, kind of like running back. Giannis is just so quick and fast. The Bucks went on 15 game winning streak. He averaged like 33 insane. Like Giannis is just all around a beast. Absolutely insane. Obviously, he's like trapped. He's like the only player that gets like every player on him when he's playing, and he's still averaging these crazy stats. Not much to say about Giannis because you you, can't, you know, like you already know, he's just that good. But obviously, we have no control who wins the MVP. The, the media likes you know the media loves their player. They love Jokic and hold, you know, they actually love him and hold him to different standards compared to everyone else. You know, obviously this is me being biased as a Sixers fan, but obviously, you know, Jokic will have a bad stint and still be top of the MVP for him. You know, back, top of the MVP ladder. And Beater Giannis has bad, you know, bad stretch. They're all the way out of the top three. It's it's different standards. At the end of the day, the people that control the narrative will want to see their player win. It's been like this forever. Steve Nash, come on, bro. Steve Nash. Two MVPs, like, come on, bro. Can't tell me that wasn't controlled. I'm just, like, I was obviously, I, I wasn't watching the NBA back then. I'm sure Steve Nash had a huge impact on that team, in the Suns team, taking him to 60 wins, etc. But over Shaq, like, come on, yeah, it's ridiculous. I believe, obviously, this was not like, like, this was the situation in 2019. Obviously, do you know I mean, I sound like such a salty Sixers fan, bro. Oh my God. But I, I, I agreed with this take before Harden joined anyway, but, you know, Harden should have won in 2019 easily easily but the media had their narrative blah 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 narratives like this it's just how things have always been obviously the MVP race you know people are actually opening their eyes 
actually giving other candidates, you know, some, you know, some actual praise. I think it's gone so bad with the media now. Also, you got start Muse. All the like you can you can see Trey Young has a you know quadruple double with ten turnovers. Jokic has you know it's like you no know, they make fun of Trey. Jokic has it and then they praise him. It's it's uh, Jeremy. It's crazy. It's not Jokic's fault. Jokic seems like one of the coolest guys in the whole of the NBA. When you talk about Jokic, you ain't talking about him as a person. It's like you're talking about the media and their narrative towards him. But it's a shame that this happens in the NBA. You build up this player and you know. You just join. It's just how the league works, but let me know your MVP in the comments.